We have multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms. The first round not likely to be severe, although we could see a few strong storms. It's the second round that comes in this afternoon that I'm most concerned about. That's the one that is likely to be uh, likely to contain severe weather, but you can already see seven first alert radar is up and at them this morning. Look at the showers and storms back out to the west. We can zoom in here. Lots of lightning. There are no warnings right now uh, for these thunderstorms, but they are loud. They're noisy. They're moving to the east northeast, so there's a drift here. So most of this will miss Metro Detroit. Now we've already seen showers and thunderstorms. We had this cell come through here through parts of southern Wayne County, uh, clipping uh, Romulus crossing uh, 275 75. Now it's out over Ontario. We look up here across parts of uh, Oakland County where we have showers. No thunder at the moment, uh, but this is drifting to the north and east as well. Rochester Hills, uh, you're getting some heavy rain. It's about to cross on over into Macomb uh, Township or Macomb County rather headed towards Macomb Township. Lake Orion uh, back out to Brandon uh, to our north and west. We have these showers. The temperatures 40s and 50s outside. Still a pleasant start to the day for us. We have a warm front that will come up uh, into the area. Send some of us well into the 70s and then a cold front comes slamming in here and that's going to give us that chance for showers and storms later in the day. Right now it's an east wind, but the winds will turn southerly for this afternoon and our future cast here as we take you hour by hour throughout the day bears all of this out. So here's the first round. A lot of the storms headed to the north. The bulk of the misses, but we still have a chance for showers and storms during the latter portion of the morning hours. Then we actually quiet down for a little bit and then we'll see showers and thunderstorms develop this afternoon from about 2 or 3 o'clock to about 8 o'clock. That's the time period that I'm most concerned about. This is now uh, closing in on 4 o'clock and you see the showers and storms here developing across Metro Detroit. Some of these storms strong, possibly severe. This is the height of the evening drive could be slow and messy with strong thunderstorms working in and then uh, we get to about 8 o'clock and then the uh, activity begins to die down. Cooler air begins to rush into Metro Detroit and then we no longer have any big storm concerns. But during the afternoon hours, we do have that storm concern. We have an enhanced risk of uh, thunderstorms. So this is a marginal risk. That's where we were yesterday. This is the slight risk and this is the greatest risk uh, nationwide today right here for Metro Detroit. Damaging wind up to 60 miles an hour, large hail up to one inch and the chance for even a tornado. Today, look for a high little peak near 73. It's cooler to the north, but the uh, thunderstorms, they, they stick around throughout the day. Some during the morning, stronger storms during the afternoon into the evening hours. After those storms die down, we drop down to 44 degrees. The storms come to an end and we turn colder. Tomorrow, look for a high of only 55 degrees, 56 degrees on Saturday, back in the 60s for Sunday, and still mild around here for Monday, Tuesday, near 70 degrees for Wednesday. But today, the most active day in the forecast, and we'll have some of the most active weather in the country right here for Metro Detroit. You know, it says 73, but I noticed yesterday it felt so much warmer, probably because of the humidity. Yeah, it was quite humid. Now, not everyone's going to get to 73. The farther north you are, that warm front stalls out. You'll still be miles, still above average, but it's going to be a warm and turbulent day. Okay, well, on the roads, things aren't looking too turbulent yet anyway. Let's